welcome, welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Um, what I wanted to talk about this morning, family, is um, brainwashing, programming. You know, it's kind of amazing to me that as many movies as we see, the movies like The Matrix and things of that nature, we still think that, you know, basically we're not a program people. And I think that's what gets me. A lot of times I, I listen, um, you know, to a lot of other YouTube or content creators. And, um, you know, a lot of them think that they're actually um, giving you information that has never been expelled before. So that way they feed their, they're feeding their egos with shit like, you know, hey, this is what was wrong with the people of old. Or this is why they didn't get anywhere in terms of their liberation or whatever it is that they're trying to convince you of, um, which I think is a travesty. Because if we haven't learned anything by now, <laughs> what we should have learned is this. Every great empire killed itself from within. Now, when you start thinking about that, then you have to look at yourself in place of how do you think you're going to fit in and what is history going to say about us? I hear so many divisive channels, um, channels that are just full of hatred for men, video content that's full of hatred for women. And these by the way, are done mostly by black men and black women. Um, so the Willie Lynch program of hitting the male against the female has worked to perfection. And um, actually, so has every other brainwashing technique that the beast has uh, put on us as a family. It's basically worked. And so when you hear everybody talking about they had the blueprint or you should do this and this is what black people should do or this is what, um, I, I tend to differ. I just really beg to differ. Because at the end of the day, if you can't even acknowledge that you're programmed, you can't have a, in, you don't have an independent thought. You've been programmed everything. In fact, I like to talk about the Tavis Stock Institute um, because you have a lot of people that think that these rappers are so independent. And, um, a lot of what they do is so independent when in actuality, it's just the uh, arm of the programming vehicle. Um, when I look at that, when I look at even in terms of uh, hip hop, let's start with that. Look how it's been hijacked. Um, when guys my age, like Russell Simmons, Chuck D, um, when these guys um, basically created hip hop, the genre is a lot different than what we listen to right now, right? It had, it had a message. Um, wow. Cold Righteous Teachers. What are some of the other guys that? Uh, X Clan. Um, and what these guys were talking about was basically something to uplift your mind to get you to start thinking away from the matrix. And that was pretty much shut down and hijacked by corporate America. And you were presented a type of programming that made you uh, focus on excess, focus on misogyny, disrespect of women. However, the same people that's paying you a lot of money wouldn't dare let you talk about their women like that. And they pluck these poor people out of the ghettos. And of course, you've been poor all your life and somebody's offering you a million dollars to sing your mama's a bitch and hoe. And if you don't have any morals, and if that's been programmed out of you, then that's exactly what you'll do. You'll and then you'll be able to create income off the off of the degradation of your people. So then it becomes a mantra. Then it becomes almost a state. Um, and if I begin to tell you the, most, the more violent 
you can produce the record the more money I give you well we some creative people so you already know left at our own devices and given that type of incentive uh, incentive what can become of that and that's just what we're experiencing right now so what I wanted to share with you a little bit was the something about the Tavistock Institute and how they operate. Because everything you see now, what you think is a, uh, uh, is created by some of these artists when they come out in the hip hop community, whether it's lean, whether it's promotion of Dirty Sprite, whether it's promotion, all this has been done by social engineering and by real crafty, crafty uh, blueprinting that has got you actually uh, participating and singing songs and writing about your own demise. Because when you perpetuate the kind of behavior that they're paying you for, you're gonna get arrested, right? That's why most rec rappers have a, a record and get caught with guns in a car and they get this. Because you've created an image that allows them to continue to treat you um, like a criminal. Even if you wasn't a criminal, they can even give you money and get you to lie and perpetuate criminality. But then guess what? The joke is on you. Because at the end of the day, you're going to get the hip-hop cops on you. And it's all a game. You see these brothers with their pants hanging down and they think it's a fad. Uh, it's white tees and they don't think that that has been created. Whether it comes out of the penal system or the a corrections system, it becomes a fad because the powers that be, the, the psychological brainwashers, have figured out a way because they study you. How does this clan react? So, what you think that you being trendsetters and you starting shit, most of it has been uh, engineered socially for you. Let me just read this a little bit and we can come back and visit this. Um, a little later, but let's check this out. Tavistock Institute developed the mass brainwashing techniques, which were first used experimentally on American prisoners of war in, in Korea. It experiments in crowd control methods have been widely used on the American public. The servant contentious but um, nevertheless, outrageous assault on human freedom by modifying individual behavior through topical psychology. A German refugee, Kurt Lewin, became director of Tavistock in 1932. Oh, by the way, Tavistock Institute is in London, and it was kind of like founded, or you know, and one of the early founders of it was Sigmund Freud. Um, and again, they create and they are an institute that operates small other little institutes that basically um, put you all on board to a hidden hand that you have no idea is ruling your thoughts. And I want y'all to go and just read some information about uh, Tavis Stop. Um, Tavistock Institute originated the mass civilian bombing raids carried out by Roosevelt and uh, Churchill purely as clinical experiment in mass terror, keeping records of the results that they have watched the human guinea pigs reacting under a controlled laboratory condition. See, this is what they do. Like, uh, they, 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 they did a study. One of them was uh, like the speaker boxes that y'all got in the back of the vehicles and you make the music real loud and the beat, the bass real. What these guys did at one time, they put two flowers in a room. One um, very small, um, you know, plants. And to see how they would thrive under those conditions. Well, the, the, the plant that they had that was in the, with, uh, under normal conditions, under normal sunshine and watering, and actually uh, verbally communicating with the plant, the plant grew, began to thrive. You could see its branches grow, growing. And then the plant that they came with all that bambastic bass, dude, that plant was dead so fast it just wilted over. 
think after a few hours of listening to that bass like that, now why is that? It just curled over and died. That's why I tell you these people are not crazy. And everything basically has been a socially engineered game to the way we live, to the high, how we live, and it's all been for our social control. Most of us, a lot of us are on this black and white shit, which is real. And you got to deal with it because it is a real phenomenon. But while we doing that, they so far ahead, they splicing genes. They on some other shit. They taking um, uh, black uteruses and putting them in white women's bodies. We still on this mundane shit like black and white, black and white, because there's a problem there. And the thing about that, that's never going to fix itself until we have some sense of loyalty to one another. That's why it really shocks me when people get mad when other black people adjure us to have a responsibility for the shit that we um, do. Because we always want to talk about outside entities disrespecting us. And then we want to talk about, yeah, 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 but those are two separate issues. Well, let's just talk about the first issue. Because you got to sweep around your door first. You can't, you get strength in numbers. When you begin to realize that you at war and that you're killing your own self in war, if that doesn't strike a bell with you and you still can say a person's a coon because they're telling you you got to stop killing yourself, then you, I, I, I beg a differ. I beg to say that you the coon. And then when I hear you talking about the elders and how we didn't do anything, it's funny because I come from the generation of the Panthers it, <laughs> or deacons of the defense. So that means they had a, a, a protocol. They had a, a, a direction. What the fuck y'all got? Nothing. And this is what happens. This is the dis- big disconnect between the young generation and the older generation. And until we can solve that, that's the Willie Lynch in blueprint in full effect. When you talk about your elders, I hear a lot of young people when I talk about Farrakhan and how, you know, he killed Malcolm. Um, and I know I'm going all over the place, but I'm, I'm going to bring it back home. It's all condition. It's what they want you to think now. All the other murderers that's killed uh, somebody, there's been some kind of evidence and proof. And because Farrakhan said something to the effect that I apologize for being involved with an atmosphere that helped create the death of somebody. And see, when you're close to somebody and when you're full of zealousness and as you're young, y'all should know that. You make a lot of stupid mistakes. Okay, but Malcolm knew to, <laughs> that uh, what had happened to him after he got poisoned, he knew that that was way too far sophisticated for the nation of Islam. And he said so. Nobody wants to talk about that. So the engineering is for you to keep saying that Farrakhan killed Malcolm. Farrakhan killed Malcolm. And you don't understand. That was highly, highly um, systematically um, uh, 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 thought about to put you on that side of the matrix. Now we got information overload. Okay, and the thing is, how much are you going to deal with? How much are you going to really acknowledge that you are programmed? If you can't even acknowledge that it's all your programming, it, it, which ir, ir, irregardless of your color, you've been programmed. White people have been programmed to think that they're better than everybody else. Black people have been programmed to think a certain thing about our um, situation. But all in, in reality, guess what? At the end of the day, we are going to be destroyed from within if we cannot figure out a way to live on this earth. Okay, black people need, um, to me, the whole human family as ally. Of course, we don't have it, but of course, we need that. Okay, but don't white people shouldn't stick their chest out too far because they're hated all over most countries outside of themselves. Most people look at uh, the Americans as pompous, arrogant, um, disrespectful, and they pretty much don't like Americans. So here we got two groups of people that's not liked, and they can't even figure out how to come together in a country that's already fucked up based on the foundation of it. And so you can't figure out a way to cohabitate and on this land and respect each other. Guess what? It's going to disintegrate from within. 
and with institutions like the Tavis Stock, who created and who run and give the um, uh, orders to people like the, you know, the Alphabet Boys, the CIA, the FBI, and all, all them. If if we can't even see this kind of stuff, we're so far behind the eight ball. Is what I'm trying to say. And let me close this by saying another prominent Tavis Stock operation is the Wharton School of Finance. I think that's where uh, your president went at the University of Pennsylvania. A single common denominator identifies the common Tavis Stock uh, strategy: the use of drugs. The infamous MK Ultra program of the CIA, in which unsuspecting CIA officials were given LSD, and their reaction studied like guinea pigs resulted in several deaths. The U.S. government had to pay millions in damages to the families of victims and the culprits uh, were never indicted. The program originated when Sandoz AG, a Swiss drug firm owned by S.G. Wahlberg Company of London, developed um, LSD. Okay, he developed it. Roosevelt's advisor uh, James Paul Wahlberg, the son of Paul Wahlberg, who wrote the Federal Reserve Act and nephew of Max Wahlberg, who had financed Hitler, set up the Institute for Policy Studies to promote the drug. The result was the LSD counterculture of the 60s, the student revolution, which was financed by $25 million from the CIA. One part of MK Ultra was the Human Ecology Fund. The CIA also paid Dr. Herbert Perlman at Harvard to carry out further experiments of mind control. In the 50s, the CIA financed extensive LSD experiments in Canada, and Dr. Ewan Cameron, president of the Canadian Psychological Association and director of the Royal Victorian Hospital in Montreal, received large payments from the CIA. CIA, I'm sorry, to give 53 prospective patients large doses of LSD and record their reactions. The patients were drugged into, into weeks of sleep and then given electrical shock treatments. One victim, the wife of a member of the Canadian Parliament, is now suing the U.S. companies who provided the drug for the CIA. All of the records of the CIA's drug testing program were ordered destroyed by the head of MK Ultra, because all efforts of the Tavistock Institute are directed towards producing a cynical collapse. The effect of the CIA programs are, are tragically apparent. R. Tremel Tyrell writing in the Washington Post um, in uh, August 20 of 1984 cites the squalid consequences of the 60s radicals in SDS as resulted in the growing rate of illiterate, uh, illegitimacy, petty lawlessness, drug addiction, welfare, venereal diseases, and mental illness. All those thanks to the United States government. So I want y'all to know that there's no easy answer to escapism. Okay? I know drugs ain't. Okay? And as far as black people are concerned, and as far as we're concerned, if we can't, don't even have a database um, like the people of old, the ones you talk about, the ones in the 60s, at least if you went to jail, you can get out because you had a defense fund and you had attorneys that worked pro bono. You don't have that today. So if you go to jail fighting for the rights of your people, that's where your ass going to be. They might send you to Guantanamo Bay, and guess what? Ain't nothing these niggas gonna do about it, especially the ones that's sitting there talking about what you're doing wrong and who's a coon and who's not and what you should be thinking and what you... You need a different strategy. Nothing wrong with incorporating the strategies of old because this is a new day. This is a new war. And if your mind ain't right, you can't fight nothing. So if you can't take responsibility for your bad behavior, and the first thing you got to say is, well, they don't have anything to do with each other, that's part of the problem. The, the behavior that we exemplify, that we exemplify amongst ourselves, 
is dysfunctional and it's programming. So whether you program by your parents and you still up under that programming that you got to dissolve, or whether and 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 the the larger extent of that is the program that you have by the larger society as a whole that you gotta come from up under. And if you can't sweep around, can't sweep around your front door and start with at home. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> because we, we you know, this this is this is the fight. This is the fight. All right, I'm gonna go. I, I felt the need to talk about that a little bit today. We'll talk about it a little bit later. Because I like talking about the Tavistock Institute. I like to talk about uh, 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 programming mechanisms and the different things that this government is doing while they still got us talking about black and white. You know, they cloning and splicing and doing all kinds of shit that is way advanced. And we gotta, we can't forget about that. We can't forget about ourselves on the global scale. It's just that simple as far as I'm concerned. Anyway, you got to stay local and you got to stay global. All right. With that being said, I'm going to go. Like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share. See you next time in the Mental House family. Bye-bye.